What's going on guys? D-pad first, welcome back, and in this video I'm gonna break some hearts with no pun intended because one of the games we're talking about is Kingdom Hearts 3 along with Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and uh, I don't know if I'll turn this into a series or something, but if it goes well, um, and I hope that it does, we'll, we'll see what happens. But Kingdom Hearts 3 Final Fantasy 7, these games are very ambitious in a lot of ways, especially with the Final Fantasy 7 remake. And as a side note, I hope now with Square seeing some of the things that are happening and some of the things that really didn't turn into much of a trend or at least a successful one, especially with a game that I think they published, Hitman, they decide to go against that whole releasing Final Fantasy 7 remake episodes and just remake the entire game and then release it as a full package because you know damn well that they're gonna charge no less than 40 or 50 for each one of those episodes it'll probably be 60 because it's Final Fantasy 7 it's one of the it's one of the most anticipated one of the most requested remakes of all time so I can see them feeling like they can get away with 60 for each of those each of those episodes but again I hope they go against that and see what happened with Hitman and, and diehard fans of those games not really liking how that was done but some people didn't mind it um, it gave them time to play other games in between the you know two or three month period that you would have before new content released or whatever so that's not gonna happen with Final Fantasy 7 I would imagine right it's not gonna be a game like Hitman where I think you can do that Final Fantasy 7 remake is I mean this is going to be a huge huge game where each episode is gonna be what maybe you know 20 25 hours or something so you're looking instead of you know two or three months in between probably you know two or three years in between if I had to guess so again let's just hope that they go against that and don't do that but to break some hearts I think Kingdom Hearts 3 was I think that was announced three or four years ago or something now and then we had Final Fantasy 7 remake finally confirmed last year or the year before that but I don't think and I said this even when Kingdom Hearts 3 was originally announced I just said this seems somewhat forced, uh, a, a little rushed to satisfy people that have been asking for stuff like this for a very long time. I can't see those games coming out on current gen hardware and if they do, probably just the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio. This is one of those things where you want to be wrong, like you hope that you're wrong with a, you know, a thought or a prediction like this. but. I think the earliest you see those games is somewhere between late 2019 and early you know, 2021, something like that. I can't see them coming out before that. If if generations aren't over and there's going to be a, a PlayStation 5 with you know uh, a very big leap from current gen hardware and then an Xbox, whatever they decide to call it after the the Scorpio comes out if there's gonna be big leaps with those machines I can see these games releasing on those machines and those machines only I don't think that this those two games Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 7 remake are coming out on current gen hardware that is my thought that is my prediction with those games and again I said it the the moment Kingdom Hearts 3 was released I, I just it's something about it felt off and I'm like I don't think this game is coming out this generation I don't think it's gonna happen and if it does it's gonna be at the end of the generation and I'll still stick to that if I'm wrong about the other so um, again this is one of those things where you wanna hope that you're wrong and we can be thankful that Square didn't make the mistake of making a game um, as big as and as anticipated and just hyped up as Final Fantasy 7 Remake, we can be thankful that they didn't make that an exclusive to PlayStation or one of the other platforms because that would have been a huge mistake. They're gonna need to sell as many copies of that game as possible on as many platforms as possible, I would say, to just to break even. They're probably gonna need to sell, I would guess, 10 to 15 million just to break even for that game. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a little bit different. That game, it's probably just going through some sort of development hell or something, and it's probably been that way for a long time. And maybe that's why it's taken so long to get a new Red Dead game or something. But then again, you got Rockstar just kind of focusing on the GTA Online stuff, and hey, can you really blame them? Can you really blame them? This game stays in the top 10, top 15 most sold games in the world. Like, 
every month or something for the last three or four years and those shark cards seem to sell somewhat decent so can you blame them can like that game is going to sell a hundred million copies and probably even a little bit more than that when it's all said and done it's just crazy the achievement the accomplishment and I will have a re-review for that game at some point before the year is over I might do it after I finish Fallout 4 I had a review for GTA 5 on this channel but I don't know what happened that was one of those videos that I didn't mean to delete so now it's gone and if I can find it again that would be great but I don't mind re-reviewing the game and maybe even stating some things that I didn't get to state before so yeah man I uh, don't want to get too sidetracked that's my thoughts that's my predictions I might do some more videos on I don't think I'm done talking about E3 before E3 actually starts probably not completely done with Bethesda even though I should be and maybe a couple of other things I want to try to maybe get a podcast out like tomorrow or the day after that definitely before Bethesda and Microsoft go on Sunday so gonna have to get with my co-host with that and maybe see about getting one or two other people in there if possible thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support I do appreciate it you guys take care peace